Finally, let me say something about zoning and private property rights and what a taking is. And this is certainly a very hot issue all across the United States. When you own property in the United States, what you really own is a bundle of rights to that property, water rights, mineral rights, air rights, and you also have the right to develop the property. That right to develop the property can be limited to some degree by zoning, but a zoning ordinance cannot remove all economic use of a property. If it does that, then that's clearly a taking under the Fifth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, and government would have to pay compensation to landowners um, if they did that. Some of you are from Florida. You're familiar with the Harris Act? Does that ring a bell? Well, the Harris Act is, is a similar uh, act that the state of Florida passed in the 90s that said if a zoning ordinance or government regulation reduces the value of a landowner's property by more than, say, 10 percent, then the government has to pay that landowner compensation, which is a pretty, pretty strict law. So the way I look at the takings issue is, you know, zoning is, is a legitimate use of what's called the police power to promote the public health, safety, and welfare. But it has to be reasonable. For example, if you had a, a suburban area where most properties are five to ten acres and people have horses on them, that's fine, and somebody came in and said, okay, we're going to create in this area an agricultural zone that allows only one house per 40 acres, that's just not reasonable. And it would be thrown out. It's not reasonable at all. So, so again, zoning is legitimate, but it has to be uh, reasonable, and you do have a right um, to develop your land. Eminent domain is really the ultimate power of government, and government can physically take your property through eminent domain if they are going to put that property to a public use, a public highway, a school, a uh, municipal building but it has to be a public use. And in the process of eminent domain, they have to pay the landowner what's called just compensation under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution. And sometimes that just compensation is determined by a judge as to what the actual dollar amount is. Um, one of the things, I was going to talk about this a little later, but I'll get into it now, is um, one of the th ways to uh, minimize uh, eminent domain actions that I've seen is a number of states have created uh, what are called agricultural districts. Agricultural districts are not, you know, land use restrictions. <coughs> they generally provide landowners with certain benefits. They're voluntary, so you're not required to have your land in an agricultural district, uh, so you have to enroll your land into it. In Pennsylvania, our agricultural district does three things. First of all, it does give our landowners some greater protection against eminent domain. We have at the state what's called the Agricultural Lands Condemnation Board. So if a local government says, okay, I want to condemn your farm for, you know, a, a highway or a school, then, and, and the landowner said, no, I don't want you to do this, then that government agency has to get approval from the state to do that condemnation if that land is in an agricultural security area. And that has, that has kept, you know, that has kept some um, development uh, and some government actions from happening. It, so it's really kept some eminent domain from ha happening. And I would say the majority of, of landowners who enroll in our ag districts in Pennsylvania are very much interested in that greater protection against eminent domain. The other two benefits um, of the Ag District are local elected officials agree not to enact any nuisance ordinances that would restrict normal farming practices. So if, if you're pursuing what are you know, generally recognized practices, you know, raising horses, you know, pasturing horses, and your neighbor starts complaining, your neighbor's not going to have a legal case. That's not to say your neighbor can't still take you to court and say, I want you to get rid of your horses, and you have to, you know, then 
defend yourself, which is, <coughs> which is an expense, but your neighbor's not going to win the case. And then the third benefit is the, uh, the option to apply to sell development rights through the county-state um, purchase of conservation easements program. <coughs> 